Welcome to part 3 of my DE10 Nano series. Today we're going to be benchmarking um, in DOS, having a look at some games, see how it runs. So first off we're going to load up some benchmarking tools. Uh, these are readily available from uh, Phil's computer lab again. So uh, the program is called DOS Bench. And the first one we're going to load up is the 3D Bench 1.0. This is for slower PCs. And we've got a score of 12 frames per second. So that's a little bit under par for even a 386. And we're emulating a 486 at uh, 90 megahertz, which is quite surprising. Then go on to PC Player Bench, that's the next one. Okay, and we've got a player bench of 3.0. So uh, I think a 386 and a 486 have about like three or four, so it's not too bad. We're going to use a tool called Cache ID Tool. Um, I'm intrigued now by all these scores. Um, they're much slower than a 386. Uh, roughly, I'd say maybe half uh, the speed. Um, and I'm interested to see whether this is a problem with the VGA implementation or is it a problem with the CPU implementation? The internal CPU speed of 96 megahertz doesn't know the vendor, but that's understandable. Um, current CPU mode is real, and ah, the crucial thing that we can see here, internal L1 cache is disabled. Right, okay, let's try the maximum one and see how that performs. And as you can see, this is quite a slow frame rate, so we're gonna wait for this to complete and then we'll work out what the FPS is for it. So these are the results. Uh, the AO486 had an average of 4.97 frames per second which is pretty weak to be, to be fair. Um, these other scores are from Phil's computer lab. The AMD 3860X uh, had 8.73 frames per second and the Intel 486SX at 25 megahertz was 12 frames per second. So um, seeing as this system is supposed to be emulating a 486 at 90 megahertz, sadly this is really underperforming and it's, it's a real shame because uh, I was really looking forward to this system and sadly at really 4.9 frames per second Doom isn't going to be enjoyable to play with. So let's move on. So one thing we're going to try and do is, uh, as you can see, I'm just installing Quake. So let's see how Quake does. Sadly, this is as far as I got with Quake. Uh, it just refused to load, um, which is a shame. So let's move on. Some of you in the know might think, okay, there's one possible way of enabling that cache and that's with a command called set mull. So if I installed that on my system here, so if we go into the tools directory, you'll see that we've got set mull installed. So if I do set mull um, L1E to enable the level one cache, yeah, it doesn't do much. It just crashes the system. Um, so I just don't think that the cache is um, implemented on this system which is sad um, but yeah it really limits the system so it's about half the speed of uh, really a normal system of, of this type that it should be emulating uh, would be so uh, right all we can do is um, go on to another core um, it was good visiting this I hope that it does get developed in the future um, maybe uh, if it 
level one cache is implemented into it and if if maybe the uh, creator of this core is listening um, maybe that has been implemented somehow and maybe I'm just doing something wrong uh, please let me know uh, in the comments below but thank you for watching um, and I will see you in the next video